All right, in this tutorial, it's going to be the second of three calendar tutorials. I said four in an earlier one. It's only going to be three. We're going to look at sharing with students again and uploading documents and presentations that students will be able to use. And they need to be done via Google Docs. So let's take a look at sharing first. So here's I'm on the teacher account. And here's one of my classes, grade five performing arts. To share with a student, click on the drop down share this calendar and I find the student's email address so I'm going to share it with test student 4 I'm going to click save and now what should happen by default is when I log into my test student 4 account then that student logs in it should just automatically appear on their calendar so let's take a look up here I have his calendar open or her calendar open it's not there yet but let's refresh and let's see what happens and when they refresh they get the calendar there and so they'll be able to click on it and they get the description. So if you've written in here a description about what they need to do, that's actually going to be here on this calendar. And I can show you that right now on this homework. I'm going to edit the event. And so I write in my description. And now I'm going to show you something cool. If you're using Google Docs with all of your documentation and papers and stuff, when you click Add Attachment, all your Google Docs are going to appear right up here. You select one, and it's on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, and that work is attached to this right here. I had to make sure, though, when I created that piece of work, it had to have been shared with my students when I created it. So that's one thing when you're in Google Docs and you create it and you want your students to use it, you have to share it with them. So I've already done that. I've attached it onto the calendar. Now let's go and take a look at his calendar. We'll refresh it. And now when I click on this, you'll notice that there's that description that I just wrote. So you can write as much as you want in there. And then there's the attachment. So when I click on the attachment as a student, up will pop that attachment. And here we go. So that is how we are going to utilize Google Docs, tie it in with calendars in order to make things just a lot easier, getting people uh, criteria sheet and descriptions and all the rest of that. No more of this photocopying many, many sheets. You have it in Google Docs, you attach it on the calendar. That calendar event is going to stay there unless you delete it. So it's there forever. So students can't say, oh, I didn't have the sheet because it's attached right onto their homework, which you've given some descriptive words here so they know that it's there. So that's sharing with your students again and uploading and attaching Google Docs onto a calendar.